What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Missy Magic, and I'm back with another episode of In the Life with Missy Magic. To my new people, hey, y'all, I'm Missy Magic. To my magic beauties, welcome back, y'all. So, I'm so sorry about last Monday. I didn't even warn y'all that I was not posting. I just had a migraine last Monday. Came home, took some medicine. I had to take a little hour nap, and I forgot. I think I cooked. Um, and I forgot, so try to tell my head and my heart. But welcome back to another motivational Monday video. As always, I hope y'all like these, I hope y'all love these, I hope y'all enjoy these, and I hope y'all leave with some sort of motivation from these. Um, so this past weekend, I went to Mississippi to um, my great grandmother's birthday, she turned 90. So I'm telling y'all this background because that's what we're gonna be talking about give people their flowers while they are here. So, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll get straight into this Motivational Monday video. Do not wait until a person, do not wait until a person is gone to try to give them their flowers, because baby, once they're gone, they are gone. Like, and forgiveness is going to tie into this Motivational Monday. Like, if you have an issue with somebody, um, and it's something that can be talked out, even if y'all's relationship don't go back to how it used to be, Y'all, I don't know what the hell going on with my camera. But even if the relationship does not go back to how we used to be, as long as you were able to talk it out and be, you know, on good terms, just in case something happens to you or something happens to that person, you know, you got to learn to give people their flowers while they're here. Because like I said, once they're gone, they are gone. You don't want to feel guilty because you had an issue with somebody and then they leave this earth. And it's like, well, dang, I can't even talk it out no more. So give people their flowers while they're here. Whoever you are having, you know, issues with, whether it's a grandparent, whether it's a parent, whether it's a spouse, whether it's a sibling, reach out to them. Be the bigger person. Like, if you say, no, I'm not reaching out to them because they did me wrong, yada, yada, yada. How old are you? Come on now. How freaking old are you? There are always going to be times in life where we have to do things that we don't want to want to do. If you really, you know, care about that relationship and you really want to mend that relationship, you're going to do what it takes. Sometimes that means, you know, getting out of your comfort zone and putting your pride to the side and saying, hey, listen, this is how I feel. This is how this made me feel. I did not like this. How can we come to, a, to come to a common ground? Because life is too short. We don't know the day. We don't know the hour when God is going to call anybody home. So it's best to just give people their flowers while they're here and learn to forgive. Learn to forgive. I promise you, it's going to give you so much closure because you did what you could do to mend a relationship and to make sure that you are on at least decent terms with this person. Like life is too short. I'm telling you life is too short. Um you can lose a person can be here today and be gone the next hour. So if you have somebody that you need to talk some things out with, you need to do it right now. This is your sign. Do not wait another day, another second, another minute, another hour. I'm telling you, do it right now so that you won't regret anything if something were to happen to that person. That's it, y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next episode of In Life. We see magic. Uh, I'm in